bring in Dan Bongino, Fox News contributor, former NYPD officer, former Secret Service agent, and author of Spygate, The Attempted Sabotage of Donald J. Trump. I don't know if you watch any of the Sunday shows, but a lot of Democrats are blaming our administration, the president, for what happened in Texas and Ohio. What's your reaction to that? You know, Ainsley, it's one of the most disturbing, grotesque trends in politics lately. Uh, just literally hours, if not minutes, after an incident, people jump on their Twitter accounts, politicians um, looking for votes, support, donations, whatever they're looking for. Um, and instead of having some sense of empathy uh, with the victims of this really unthinkable tragedy, uh, your first your, your, your first instinct is to tweet about whose fault it is other than the actual person who did this. I mean, think about this, right? I was actually in a Walmart this weekend, ran into a whole bunch of people, was talking to them, and as on the way out, I'm thinking to myself, what would you do right now if some maniac walked in here with a firearm right. and started to kill innocent people? And, and you start to really, as a police officer and a former Secret Service agent, put, your, put yourself in that spot. And I can tell you right now, my first instinct afterward would not be to tweet about it, to try to get election votes. And one more thing on this, guys. You know, I don't do this, so I don't speak with forked tongue here. Um, I have a show. I'm, I'm on this network as well. We've had incidents where language Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez used was used by an Antifa terrorist engaged in an attack. We, of course, had the, 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 the dreadful incident in uh, the baseball field in Virginia. We had another uh, shooting this weekend where one of the one of the shooters had some uh, apparently had some support for another Democrat presidential candidate. It's not their fault. Hundreds of millions of people literally a year across the world listen to political speech. And you know what they do? They go out and vote or they argue with their friends about politics. They don't become savage maniacs and shoot up a Walmart. But Dan, right. clearly, guys, there's something else going on. This is, there's something else wrong here. But Dan, in, is this, it the, this, yeah, in, yeah. in this case, it's universal, to your point. It's not as if one or two of the candidates are pointing the finger at President Trump. All of them are immediately saying, it's your fault. How do you overcome that and get at whatever solution would actually exist? You know, Pete, it requires an educated electorate to realize and see through the fog of what's going on. These are not serious people looking to solve the problem. And, and here's the issue here, guys. The issue here is when you do that and you suck up airtime dedicated to attacking President Trump, who clearly, by any sane, rational actor, had absolutely nothing to do with this at all. If you're sane and reasonable, right. you take away a conversation about what the real problem is. We clearly, there's something going on in our culture. We, the, the number of guns is up dramatically. Gun crime and gun crime per capita is actually down dramatically. Right. People have had guns in the United States for hundreds, you know, for hundreds of years since our founding. What is going on in the culture? And instead, you're worried about getting some extra votes in the Iowa caucus coming up? I mean, this is sick stuff. This is really disturbing. Yeah.